Hey, what's up everybody? It's Adam with DIY Agency and today we're gonna to talk about advertising strategy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare ad strategy with cocaine. As a little background, this won't be the first time cocaine's ever been involved in business. Uh, if you are familiar with Coca-Cola's history, uh, even though they are currently saying that no, cocaine has never ever been a, uh, a part of their recipe or anything like that, uh, what you will find is that you know there are in fact, details that say that Coca-Cola did involve cocaine as part of their recipe in the form of uh, an extract of a cocoa leaf. Now, I'm not telling you this because I, I wanna promote cocaine in any way, shape, or form. Back when this was happening, it was legal. It's no longer legal. But I wanna to talk to you about this because a lot of advertisers today, a lot of marketers, uh, a lot of ad agencies have a cocaine-like strategy for their marketing. And that strategy is talking about sales or lowering their prices to get more sales. Now, I'm not here to talk about using cocaine, but what I hear is that if you do use cocaine, you get an immediate jolt of energy and uh, just an all around great sensation. And basically you're apparently feeling like a Superman or Superwoman for a little bit. Uh, right after you do uh, do some uh, some cocaine. And as we all know, here in America, everybody loves instant gratification. So it's not surprising at all that cocaine is a very popular drug in America. Uh, all around the world, as a matter of fact. It's kind of like going to your convenience store. It's if I want to get a Twinkie, I want to go down to, to the local convenience store, I buy, buy myself a Twinkie, I'm instantly gratified. Now, advertising, is not like that. Advertising takes time. Advertising takes strategy. Advertising takes time to develop. However, a lot of ad agencies, a lot of marketers love the concept of putting something on sale to get an instant jolt of business, an instant sale. Uh, and therefore, they're feeling like they've just done some cocaine because they lowered their prices and they've gotten a sale. And it's because they've advertise sale, 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 rather than advertising their brand, instead of effectively advertising the features and benefits of their product or service, and more importantly, not ever talking about what the future is gonna hold for the buyer of that, how it's gonna affect them, how they're gonna benefit from the use of that product or service, which is what an effective ad strategy should be about. You're not selling a bed, you're selling a, a better night's sleep. You're not selling um, you know, a car, you're selling the comfort of driving, but more importantly, you're, you're selling getting A to, from A to B. So putting a price point on something is really about putting cocaine in your body. It's giving you that instant gratification, that immediate sale comes from lowering your prices, not pr from providing a better valuable offer or more, more importantly, effectively communicating the benefits to the buyer of what your product or service offers. So a lot of people are sniffing cocaine right now with their business because they're thinking, I need to lower my rates or I need to have a sale where we do a buy one, get one free or a 20% off or what have you because they don't have an effective ad strategy. And so what I want to make sure you do depending on what your business is, is go back to your product or your service. Find out what is the most important thing to your client, to your buyer, why they're buying it. How does that make them feel? What is it, what is it going to do to them once they buy your product? So your ad messaging should be about, hey, if you're suffering from this or if you need this, then our product will get you that. So if you want this, then buy our product and you will get that. That's the strategy. It should not be buy our product and save 20% unless you're literally in a race to reduce the profits of your business. So it starts off with a 5% off, then it's 10% off, then it's 20% off, then it's half price, and then it's 80% off. And before you know it, you're liquidating your company. And really what you should be doing is focusing on your messaging, not on the pricing. So again, don't think about the instant gratification of doing some cocaine for your business uh, and becoming that Superman or Superwoman and feeling great immediately. Think about the long term. Your doctor will tell you health and exercise is what's going to keep you living longer. 
Health and exercise does not provide an immediate result. However, if you're doing it for a long period of time, you'll get great results and you'll live longer and just the same, so will your business. If you walk into your doctor's office and you hear diet and exercise and you walk out, you feel like crap because you know you've got a lot of work to do. But if you do some cocaine, you feel like a, like an, a million bucks because you've got an immediate instant gratification. One will kill you fast, the other one will bring you success and, and a longer life. It's up to you which direction you wanna go in. So hopefully you found some value in this, and if so, please comment below. I reply to all my comments, or simply just like and subscribe. And I'll look forward to providing some more great information on the next video. Thanks for watching.